Thank you very much, Dash. I am joined by Sick from Sentinels after their victory over F4Q. And I want to touch on that for a second before we go back to G2 and then forward to playoffs. F4Q is super aggressive. Mm -hmm. What's it like to play against a team who, right after the walls drop, you usually see Bunny or somebody else in your face? Yeah, playing against Bunny is crazy. Uh, I, I really respect the way they play the game because it's nothing like we ever, we've ever seen. So a lot of times you just be like in our face like five seconds around. I'm trying to like throw slows on the ground to stop him. I'm like, what is this He's in my face? I think one round, like when we played them the other day, he like was in like in heaven on me, just shotgun <laughs> on the first gun round. It was crazy. Yeah, we saw it was pretty hard to adjust to. Now, I want to get your opinion. It's been four months, about since Masters Reykjavik. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion on the strength of the teams now that you're seeing at LAN? Um, I'd say the team's improved a lot. You know, it's uh, it's interesting to see because when we came here, when we, when we started scrimming, we noticed like a lot of teams were using a lot of utility to push us back and stuff. And before that, like we didn't really have that problem. So I think uh, the more utility heavy comps, we, we tend to struggle with a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And next question. I know you've heard a bunch, G2 Esports becomes your first loss in International Land, but I want to know, not the takeaways from the series, but your takeaways <clears throat> from G2, and do you think that's the team you could meet in the finals? Yeah, I think G2 looks really strong. I, I know, you know, people are hyped up on a Sin and Gambit, because, like, in scrims, I feel like they play really well, but G2 seems to have this, like, this um, way of, like, playing on land that's pretty impressive. Like, they, they don't make many mistakes, and they have yeah. really good utility usage, so I think they're a threat throughout the entire tournament for sure. All right, and I got to ask, we did see a little bit of social media, better seed secured. You guys believe you got the better seed on that? Uh, I mean, you know, yeah, I think so. We got the better seed. We'll, 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 we'll see so. how Why it plays is that? out. Why is that? I mean, you know, we, we want to play the NA teams anyway, so okay. the, it's the better seed because we get to play our, our home competition, and yeah, we're yeah. more comfortable with that. Fair yeah. enough. If history repeats itself, it's going to look pretty good. Yeah. I do have a final question for you with a, a pretty fun stat on this. Sentinels has only lost four complete series since adding 10s in March. Mm -hmm. One of those was Anbox, and Ye popped off in that game. Are you guys ready for El Diablo as you go up against <laughs> Envy? And what do you think about Ye? Uh, yeah, if Ye is a really talented player, of course, but I think uh, if we play how we normally play and we play smart, we're, we're going to be able to isolate him and, and not let him get the picks that he normally does. So I guess we'll see. Awesome. Thick. Sick, thank you so much for your time. I know <laughs> it's late. Go ahead, celebrate with the team, and go get some sleep.